not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. <laughs> Here's something out there. Something big. It's a... <laughs> Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the temple of light. Your shrine is at the top. <laughs> Everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Very well. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. <clears throat> Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, very clever. Do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all... ...what you bring to it.
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Fighting us! We helped you last time! Atreus, focus! I hate Alphonse! <laughs> Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. <laughs> just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> it's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. Built to promote cooperation between the elves. But I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. <laughs> and something comes hang. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Whoa. It's the light! Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. 
So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down to the water. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. For us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, trying away. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Oh. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alpine's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. is this way, Kratos. By all means, then. Hey, give him what for! Anything interesting this way? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? 
to return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Yeah. Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here, get back! The long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Another chest over there. How do we reach it? We cannot. Let us continue. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Hey, that looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. No, tricky. Oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. <laughs>
Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? On your right! your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose? Favorite. <laughs> Stop I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over his temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The dark elf king. Yes, he's in the light now too. Timing must be precise. Down on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! <laughs> <laughs> 